Today, we open a $75 legendary collection versus a $250 one. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video. Today, as you guys saw, we are opening Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World, which is like a $250 unlimited product. It's insane now. And then we have a Legendary Collection 2 game board. So if you didn't know, Legendary Collection 2 actually came out as a binder first and then became the game board in the unlimited print. Yugi's World was always the game board. It was first edition and unlimited, but the first edition, you could actually cut out the card there, or there was a cutout with the card in it. So in this video, we will find out which one is better. Before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two cards. We pulled the Black Luster Soldier of the day and an Imperial Order. I'm sure you guys love that card. Just like this video, be subscribed, and let me know which one you think will win. One of them does have the price advantage, so probably leaning toward Yugi, but you never know. There's a lot of great cards in two as well. Let's get these open and see what the contents are inside. First off, let's open the Legendary Collection 2, which let's take a look at them first before we open it up. So we have the five packs, we have the game board, and I believe we have like a promo pack, which is pretty cool. We opened the Legendary Collection 2 binder recently. You guys can check that video out if you missed it. And then, uh, yeah, you of course get the promo. So let's open this up. Let's see if this or Yugi will win. I believe they both have five packs, so we will see once we get them open. All right, so we have two, four five plus a promo pack with all of these different cards inside we open this up in the binder video not a lot crazy in there besides the uh of course the sacred beast so that's pretty cool and then of course you get the game board inside then we have yugi's world legendary collection three so inside we'll get the seal of ori calco so there'll be a few other promos like these yeah these are the all the promos you're gonna get you're gonna get dark necrofear guardian neantos the five-headed dragon and the five packs so let's see what is inside I and mean, we, we already know but let's see what's inside those packs because that's gonna be pretty fun all right, let's get this open. This is one of my favorite reprint sets like ever because there's some really awesome cards that they reprinted in like secret rare and stuff. They even got some of the old school stuff and like made them like they're like vanillas and stuff. So it's awesome. So five of those packs. And then of course we have the seal of Oricalcus and we have the game board, which is pretty cool. All right, this promo, the seal of Oricalcus, we're not going to open those up because we know what's in there. We already saw it on the bag. Now let's get into the battle. We have five versus five, but inside they all have a rare, a super. A secret and an ultra it's going to be pretty awesome let's start off with i think legendary collection two because i do like this one i think three is my favorite though so let's go let's see we have a thunder king ryo that's actually a really good card okay it's a nice common card we have a righteous justice clear world that's a super rare oh is this going to be our secret next i think it is oh a malicious edge that's pretty cool a secret rare malicious edge and Armatile, the Chaos Phantom. And then an Overload Fusion. Pretty good pack. D Fortune, Infernal Gainer, and the Nisashi. All right, that was, a, that was a pretty good first pack. Let's go on to the Legendary Collection 3. These are really, really awesome. I mean, there's just a ton of amazing cards in here. I, Legendary Collection GX surprises me, though. Now with, like, Edison and stuff, like Thunder King Ryo's good. And, like, some other cool stuff that they have floating around in there. We got the Trice. All right, Draining Shield. Another cool card. Bad flashbacks to the Weevil Duel Links deck. Uh, Mystic Box Weevil, I should I say. My Insect Queen. All right, Sage Stone, <laughs> enough Weevil for the day. Gravekeeper's Recruiter, it goes in a different order. So the other one was like super secret. Now this one is rare ultra. So I think it goes to secret now. Recruiter's actually a cool super rare. Oh, a mystical space typhoon and a fairy's gift from McDonald's pack. See, that's an epic pack. Secret rare mystical space typhoon looks really awesome. Fairy's gift is really cool because it's McDonald's pack common that they foiled out into this set. Very cool. And Dark Neft is a very good start to our opening. All right, we are killing it so far. I'm liking it. Let's see what we can do in this Legendary Collection GX pack. So I don't know exactly when these came out. Maybe I'll have those pop up on the screen. Hero Heart. Uh, obviously, GX, the binder came before uh, Legendary Collection 3 because it's 2 and 3, but I don't know when the boards came out exactly. Mariner, I think Yugi's World was 2013 in the first edition. They reprinted like 2016, 17, something like that. We have a card ejector. Is it already coming up with our... Let's see if we can do a little bit of commons in the front. So I think this will be the super secret ultra rare. Let's do it like this. Okay. Destiny Signal. The Destiny <laughs> Elemental Hero. <laughs> Blade Edge, different. Venom Swamp. Card ejector. There it is. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's a... Okay, it's an effect monster. Ooh, the Disc Commander. Actually, not a bad card. Worth a few dollars, so that's pretty cool. Garoth, the Light Sworn Warrior, and the Gladiator's Proving Ground. Yeah, Garoth's cool for, like, other formats as well because it's the ultra-rare hollowed-out version. Yeah, so far, a lot of epic reprints. 
And with all these uh, other formats coming with Master Duel out, I think there's a good chance that we will see some other formats available on Master Duel. So it's going to be cool to, you know, get back to those formats. I think that those kind of cards will come back, see a little bit of a rise in price from like 10 cents to maybe like a dollar. Alpha, cool. Dark General Freed. Toon Summoned Skull. Very cool. Is this next one the Ultra, I think? Okay, it's a trap card. Dust Tornado. That's probably one of the best trap cards you could get for that. That's pretty cool. And another trap card? Black Horn of Heaven. Okay, cool. Sacred Phoenix of Neth. This is a very cool super rare. Contract with the Abyss, Arm Dragon Level 3, and Command Knight. So this is uh, pretty cool. On to Legendary Collection 2. All right, I don't know. Who's winning this battle right now? I haven't been separating them. Maybe I should be doing that. Neo Space and Dark Panther. We've got Return of the Six Samurai. Cyclone Blade. Gladiator Beast Heraklinos. That's a cool super rare. Let's do this. Put three to the front. I think that's going to be commons. No, Infernal Prodigy is one of the rares. This is actually a good card, too, for Edison, I think. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Stratos. Another good common. Destiny Hero Dread Servant. That's awesome. There's the Heraklinos again. And... Destiny draw. Oh, and an instant fusion. What an epic back. Oh my goodness. This is a, it's a heck of a battle. Legendary Collection GX is putting up a fight. All right. Legendary Collection GX is looking really good right now. Let's see what we can do for Yugi's roll to bring him back. They already have MST though, so that's pretty good. Let's just take like, what is it? Two or three? Let's just do that. All right. Summoner of Illusions. Penalty gain. Mystic Swordsman level six. King of the Swamp. Contract with Dark Master. Toon Table of Contents. That's a good one. Let's see. What is this going to be? The Ultra? Ooh. Is this Effect? Oh, a Needle Worm. Okay. Needle Worm. That's pretty sick. Is the next one the Seeker Rare? Oh, another spell. What could it be? All right, Geki. Yes. And a gravity bind for all you uh, stall players out there. You get your hollowed out version. That's pretty cool. Raigeki. Oh my goodness. This is an amazing Yugi's world. If we pull like the Dark Magician Girl, guys, we are going to flip. Because not only can you get like Dark Magician Girl, you can get Exodia Head, you can get Dark Paladin. There's some really good pulls in Yugi's world. And then uh, obviously GX has those really cool elemental heroes. So let's see what we can get here. Let's do the two. I think that worked out pretty good. Let's go with a Wild Edge. Very cool. Burst Dinatrix is added again. A Flame Manipulator, who was the first elemental hero woman. Her Burst Fire Burns Away Villainy. I love that. Burst Fire Burns Away Villainy. Very cool. Clock Tower Prison. You guys, it's back again. The Six Samurai Yaichi. Destiny End Dragoon. Very cool. Yeah, we're missing Dragoon to Master Rule, so we get this one instead. And, oh, it's a Fusion. Ooh, a Cyber Twin Dragon. That is amazing. And a Dark Fusion. Oh, that's actually really cool as well. Elemental Hero Necroshade and Six Samurai Nisashi again. On to Yugi's World. So we have three more packs in this opening. These packs have been stacked so far. This has been awesome. Okay, so we have a Horus. Let's go like this. Let's see what we can do. We have Gold Sark, another good card. Mystical Elf. Yeah, fantastic. No, I'm just kidding. Horus, the Black Flame Dragon. I think Horus level 8 from this set is worth like $5. It's weird. It's just a common, too. Black Magic Ritual. Toon Defense was worth something for a while. I think it got a reprint finally. And... Monster Reborn. Talk about a classic opening. Everything has been classic. This is amazing. And a UFO Turtle. Okay, that's... That's not that. Oh, Polymerization, speak of classic, and a Mask Restrict, another throwback. Wow. So we got Polymerization and Monster Reborn in that pack, and we've gotten Raigeki. Have we pulled like every single, wait a second, where's MST? We have pulled all the classics in one Yugi's World. That is amazing. Two more packs. Legendary Collection 2. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go with instant neo space very cool destiny hero dunker so there's destiny hero dunker and ua dunker that's kind of weird actually they, they really like basketball over there grinding golem grinder golem i should say crystal beast ruby carbuncle very cool hero barrier crystal beast sapphire pegasus that's a cool super rare and this is going to be our secret okay it's an effect monster what could it be malicious oh 
Cyber Dragon! That's even better, and we get a card blocker. Very cool, and a Hero Flash. Oh my goodness, this was a crazy good GX one as well. Wow, we've had great luck with Legendary Collection GX recently. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know in the comments because I'm thinking about doing a Legendary Collection 2 versus 4 next, so with like a Joey's World. I think that would be fun as well. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. We can do basically a similar video, but with a different one. I will still have Legendary Collection 2, but we're going to have 4 instead. All right. Bait of the Magnum. Level limit area B, classic. Union attack, if you're playing dual links, this was this was a classic farming technique, but we have master duel now. We don't need dual links. It's kind of weird, but uh, it's true. Man-eater bug, very cool. Is that a hollow? No. Big eye, okay. Smashing ground, that's a nice ultra rare print. Okay, that's cool. And next will be the secret. Oh, it's a trap. Solemn Judgment! Oh, and drag down to the grave with a tricky spell four. Okay, talk about an amazing opening. Feels like every secret besides the QFO turtle hit. That's amazing. Solemn Judgment is insane. Talk about the classics. All of our good cards were from like LOB, MRD, and MRL. That's crazy. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic old school openings. Shout out to ZCG Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Duel Scheme Cards, Banky McFarland, G Raider, and Daxter. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.